Just imagine, you create a new game and you need to draw a new character real quick. Let's say you manage to make his idle animation, maybe even fight, jump or rest. But now it's time for him to get up and walk, but unfortunately you don't know how to draw animations longer than one frame. And this is where I come to rescue. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a simplistic free frame walk cycle. I'm gonna draw in free pixel art editor Libre Sprite, which you can download following the link in the description. Ok, let's start from creating a new 32 pixel white sprite with an elf transparency channel. I will turn on display of pixel grid and remove all those default colors from the palette. We're gonna fill it with some fresh colors for our animation real soon. Usually I'm using SHB color picker to tweak hue and brightness at the same time. And the first color I wanna paint with will be bright tone for character skin. I'm turning on the pencil tool and start drawing his head. First frame will be for an idle state of our character. This is when he's just standing waiting for something. I'm pretty sure you won't have any trouble drawing that. Of course you can take a few simple colors and start sketching out silhouette of our character and then narrow down to adding more details. Next I will take a black color and outline its head to make it more sketchy and sharp. Now let's draw his blue track suit. I'm opening the color picker and getting me a bright blue color. First I will draw a silhouette of his jacket. It would be much easier if you take a moment to memorize shortcuts for most frequently used tools. Personally for me these are pencil tool, eyedropper and paint bucket tool. I'll also outline his tracksuit with a black color. You can also try starting off from drawing basic shapes but sketching outlines for your character and then filling them with some color. Let me show you real quick. This time I'll start from drawing outline of his legs and then I'm gonna fill them using bucket tool. I'll make his sneakers white. However, not totally white but with a slight shade of blue. To add a new color to the project palette you need to click on that red exclamation mark in front of the color picker. Now I take the same white color and make it darker to draw some shadows. I'll do the same with his skin color. I really need a darker tone for shadows I'm planning to add these corners to smooth them out. Now let's go down to details and draw his face. I take the same skin color and make it darker and more saturated in SHB editor. Now I'll draw a frowning mouse with even darker shade of skin color and make his eyes dark brown. I'll add one more color, this time for shadows on his tracksuit. And I'll draw around corners where we may have some cloth wrinkles. To make his tracksuit even more visually appealing, I'll draw a striking stripe over with the same white color which I used for sneakers and eye whites. And don't forget to save your work time to time, I usually do it after each new frame. Ok, let's make a copy of the current one and start drawing our first walk cycle frame. I'll make his face look a bit forward and move his arms like he's swinging them along the way. I'll also put his right hand to the pocket. Now we came close to the most difficult part. We need to redraw his legs so his right leg goes to the front and left one goes back. Don't forget about the shadows. During the fall cycle one leg is placed in front of another one, so we need to add some shadows right there. And let's bring that white stripe back. Next frame. I'm lifting up the character just a bit, because that's an interstitial frame between two states and here he will stand on almost straightened legs. I'm straightening his right leg and it will cover the left one like on the previous frame, however not brought out to the front like it was before. I'll stick his left leg just right behind his right one, so they both are in the middle.
Now we can use arrow keys to switch frames back and forth to see what we've got so far. And finally the last frame. I'm bringing the character one pixel down. Now I'll erase his legs. For this frame the replacement will be opposite of the first one. Right leg will be behind, left one brought to the front. Bringing back the shadows and white stripe. Now let's play animation to see how it works. I'm using arrow keys to switch frames. We can turn off the pixel grid to see our animation real clean. Walk cycle plays starting from the second frame up to the fourth, then in the opposite direction and looped in a cycle. Now let me show you the order in which legs are moving. Let's take a red color for demonstration purposes and mark his right leg. And now green color to mark his left one. Let's do this for each frame. Red color for the right leg, green color for the left. Which one is which you can easily test on yourself. Just try to remember where is your right hand. This is the side where your right leg should be. And now I'll add an arrow to show you direction of legs movement on each frame. So from the second frame to the fourth, left leg is moving forward, right leg is going back. Character also moves up and down when stepping over between these two leg positions. I'll show this with a purple arrow. On the interstitial frame he goes up, on the next one goes down. Just like that. Ok, everything's ready. Let's export our animation as a sprite sheet with default settings. This is what we should get as a result. Transparent PNG file with all the frames placed in columns and going in sequence from left to right. Now it's time to import our character in the game. Let me open my code editor and create a new script to load new assets and create animations. First I'll define some constants with IDs for our new assets. These constants will be exported, so I can use them later in other project files. Let's create a function to load the sprite sheet from a file. I'm using a phaser game engine, and he'll do most all the dirty work loading these assets. I just need to pass long reference to a game scene which they will belong to. and also function to create animations for this scene when all the assets were loaded. These functions will be called sequentially from the main script when the game is starting up. Here I'll create a configuration objects for each of animations. Idle animation consists of only one frame. But walk cycle has three frames if you remember. This function is generating a list of frames for the game engine to understand. So animation goes like this. And back. I'll add returning to the second frame and make it repeat itself with a frequency of 6 frames per second. And finally let's write a function which creates a new character sprite. This function gets reference to the scene and new sprite coordinates as parameters. Add him to the scene and starts playing an animation we just added. In the end it returns the sprite so we can pick it up and work with it. This is how it looks inside my game. I can show you more things about game development. Just drop me a note in comments down below what things you find difficult. So have a nice day. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this.